Hi everybody, welcome to the harmonica board. Sorry, just experimenting with making my harmonica sound like a chicken there. And that's a work in progress. I'll be back with a video on that soon. I uh, just wanted to talk today, in fact, this video is called Throw Away Your Tab. Um, that's a bit drastic, but um, I just wanted to, to talk about when you're learning the harmonica at first and you rely on tab for playing everything. Um, tab's very useful and obviously this system so we don't have to read music notation even though you could argue on the diatonic harmonica on this instrument reading music notation is not not as common because it's a, a folk and blues instrument mainly that's not not exclusively and people do read music um, and so we have this system of tab where we've got the numbers and that can be very helpful especially when you're learning tunes but a few issues if you solely rely on on tab for everything it might become a, a crutch and you tend to then not to be able to play without it if that's if that's not there and also just the issue of learning tunes by ear and I think that's an incredible value to learn learn melodies by ear and it's actually the, the way that the majority of musicians all over the world and especially folk musicians have learned and played music for years and years as an oral tradition. So that literally could involve hearing a tune, trying to pick it up and play it on your instrument. And at first that's going to be a painstakingly slow process um, and possibly quite painful for the people you live with and your housemates and family. Say I'm trying to work out a tune. I've got a melody in my head, whatever it is. Simple songs are very good. Nursery rhymes, simple jingles you hear off the TV. If they're a sort of a major tonality, that's a, another lesson on that. But if they sound happy and simple, like children's melodies, they're probably in a major key. Um, so stuff like... See, I'm doing the process here. I've never played that before in my life. Um, um, and the only reason I can work out that phrase almost straight away, whereas someone who'd never played the harmonica would pick it up and probably be fumbling around for a bit longer, um, is that I've already worked out hundreds of other melodies that have similar patterns in the movement so the thing with working out melodies by ear is that the more you do it the faster you get at it like any other skill with learning an instrument with any techniques the more you do it so what i kind of see with and especially some of my students because we use tabs um, a lot and as a mode of communication that's good and it's instant and you can see the melody but i always try and i always try and instruct students to take away the tab and to try and play by ear as well and to work out some of their own songs because if you want to improvise on the harmonica and if you want to sit and play with other people um, you really need to develop these skills of listening and trying to work out very quickly and the only way to build up speed is to is to do it slowly at first and painfully so taking nursery rhymes taking tunes now one thing that's quite crucial and on the harmonica and what a, pe a lot of people do when they start to learn out tune, start to learn a tune is start on the wrong hole, so they might. They might be one hole away, but generally, if you use your ears, if it sounds wrong, you'll know when you get to a certain point in the melody that it's not working out, and just go back and keep trying different holes. This is. It's, this process is very very slow at first like painfully slow but I can assure you that you're going to get faster and faster um, and eventually you'll be able to just pick up the harmonica and work out a tune fairly fairly quickly and the other great thing so as well as this being extremely useful for improvising the other good thing is when it comes to technique at first 
it's very important if you want to play single note melodies that you're trying to play nice clear notes with a good embouchure, the mouth position around the harmonica going slowly, clearly, methodically, move into the notes. And if you're focused on reading tab, which a lot of people do on a table, or, or leaning on their legs, moving their head instead of their hands, then it's harder to focus on your technique. So it can also, to just play with a melody that's in your head, after all, the famous uh, banjo player and songwriter and amazing musician John Hartford said that learning to play an instrument is only training your body and limbs to play the sounds that you hear in your head, which I think is a beautiful way to, to lock at making music and learn an instrument. You have these sounds in your head, wherever that comes from, melodies, blues licks, riffs, songs, and you're trying to convert them onto the instrument. However you do that, there's many, many tools and music notation and tab and rhythm and backing tracks and formal music education is, all, is a big part of that. But also just sitting down with the instrument wherever you are and figuring things out, that is a fantastic thing to do, in my opinion. Um, so if you're playing the sounds that you hear in your head, trying to play a melody, What that does is, if you're not reading off any music, you can really focus more on the technique and the feel of the way the instrument feels on your lips, in your hands, and really try and improve your technique. Um, so that's another, another good reason why learning to play tunes by ear, uh, I think, can really help you, help you develop your playing. And that's all on that subject for today. I'll be back uh, with, more, with more on this topic very soon. So thanks very much, and if you, like the, if you like the channel, do subscribe and I'll send you more videos soon. Thank you, bye.